crying in the comment section, kicking and screaming. I will say for $19.99, these are absolutely fantastic pliers. Oh my God, did CP just give a thumbs up on something? for another fun-filled and exciting Icon tool review. Now, uh, this is my first set of Icon pliers. These are brand new release. These are 8-inch needle nose pliers. And uh, we're going to expose, expose them just like we did the EP Auto stuff, uh, showing that these are just made in Taiwan, uh, such as said in the packaging. And now, keep in mind, manufacturing in Taiwan is pretty much similar to a lot of other stuff in Taiwan. Um, I don't have the exact Taiwan tools here, but we're going to talk about why you can see the differences in the material used right off the bat. You can see that on my screen here. That's why I have good camera stuff, so you can actually see the coloring. We're going to talk about that and then talk about some things that should make the Icon Boys. A lot of you that made great comments, made great common sense, and you have uh, a deliberate sense of, you know, just being a good person. And can have a reasonable conversation, but when you tell Harbor Freight people who are non-professionals uh, that their tools are basically mediocre at best, they get really excited. And I'm not here to apologize for that whatsoever. The EP Auto Atchet and the Icon are absolutely made in the exact same factory, regardless of what anybody says. The handles are identical. They spin a different head on it. We'll talk about that in another video and compare the ratchets. Do a teardown. So if you like this video, get ready for the next one. If you don't, Put that, uh, give a, go ahead and give that three thumbs down there, and uh, we'll move right along. So let's jump into this. First of all, I have a couple different needle nose pliers here, and let's go ahead and get these ripped open because obviously I have not done so because I thought, you know what, let's do this on camera and, uh, you know, get this all done where you guys can see it. Open this up, open this uh, silly packaging up here. I had one zip tie, and give me, g give you my first impressions of the Icon pliers right off the bat. Now, they are a little bit smoother, and I can see that they tried to definitely knock these off 100%. Uh, they tried to copy the snap-on. Now, I don't have a, I don't have a small snap-on needle nose, unfortunately, but I do have a needle nose nonetheless, and, and you, they're, they're very similar. You can honestly tell that they're 100%. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that this Icon is a little bit fatter, in this area than what the snap-on needle nose is, which is pretty conducive. Now let's look at the snap-on needle nose and you can see the, the talon grips are definitely being repopped. Now my, uh, my grandpa used to tell me something always about uh, things and you know a couple of, there, there's a couple of instances where this doesn't matter but he used to say to me you know what Oli you know, uh, the lowest form of flattery is imitation. And uh, this, by far, is the lowest form of flattery. Harbor Freight is so uncreative, and so uh, they're so desperate to sell tools that they want to trick their customers, and they can't even stand up to have their own brand. So what do they do? They just copy Snap-on and say, Hey, look, guys, you can buy Snap-on for a quarter of the price. Which... Some people absolutely love that because then it makes them feel like, oh, yeah, I got some snap on. But the reality of it is, the reality of it is, and now here's the unpopular opinion, the grips on this are 10 times better uh, feeling. There's not even a chance that these are the same grips as these. These grips feel absolutely terrible. And I would almost guess over time uh, that these things are going to be terrible with uh, fluids on them and whatnot. I, I honestly don't know what they... Uh, did here but they're hard they're not soft at all they're slick <laughs> these come with a nice texture that are grippy on every one of my snap-on pliers they're grippy and they have uh, a comfort to them that's unmatched and it's a material that obviously snap-on pays a little bit extra to use and that's why they couldn't re that's why they couldn't come up with this because it would have took it out of the price range for everybody now these are 19.99 now 
if you've made it this far in the video before you've stormed off in like a little child and you're going to start crying in the comment section, kicking and screaming, I will say for $19.99, these are absolutely fantastic pliers. Oh my God, did CP just give a thumbs up on something? I never said there was anything wrong with Icon Tools. It's absolutely uh, crazy to me that in the last video, I never said one thing that was absolutely negative about the Icon Tools, other than the fact that they were being made in the same exact factory as EP Auto, and there's no doubt in my mind that they are, because guess what? Taiwan is an island that's about the size of Florida, <laughs> and quite frankly, there's just not that many plants there. So if you think there's a thousand ratchet manufacturers there, I got some news for you. That's not the case, but nonetheless, they copied everything down to the tips even on the snap-on pliers. They tried to reproduce uh, everything on these pliers, uh, like snap-on. Uh, did they accomplish everything? Let's talk about deflection here. Uh, the one thing I will tell you is that they did not copy the strength because if you look at the deflection of the tips here, do you see that? You see the deflection of that tip? Now this is, keep in mind, this is a long, longer needle nose pliers and I'm going to do the same thing to it and the deflection is quite a bit different because of the material that they're using that these pliers are not inherently as strong. So you should know that. Are they, once again, I have to keep reassuring uh, Harbor Freight fanboys, are these good pliers for the $20? Absolutely. And I never said anything about, you're getting what you pay for. The $20 you spend is what you're getting. A pair of pliers that looks and you ripped off somebody's hard work in America who designed these. It ripped off somebody's engineering, somebody's design, and what they did was is they used the easy way out to redesign a pair of pliers that looked similar to the snap-ons. I mean, that's exactly what we have here. And I'm not really sure why people think that's cool nowadays, because I'll guarantee you, if that was you and somebody ripped off your design, it would be a completely different story. Now, I have a pair of Japan pliers here. These are Japan's. These are about $13. Uh, and I really think that for $13, you get a better plier than the, than the uh, Harbor Freights. And the reason why is because, hey, I get a cutter with these, and these don't have a cutter. Now, obviously, the Snap-on doesn't have a cutter, neither. Oh, yeah. Get some of that, Daddy. You know you want some. But Needle Nose really kind of subjective. Why do you need a cutter? Traditionally, they've always had a cutter in them. Uh, German Nipex pliers, I believe these run about 30 bucks, okay? And these are probably the next row to. Once again, do they have the strength of the snap-ons? I've not been a fan of the Nipexes. Once again, you get the tip down here, and you see that there is a little deflection. See how I can move that, move that nose ever so slightly? It is a pretty pointed nose, but that's kind of the thing about the, the Nipex ones. The Knipex, Knipex. Is, is that I can get into a tighter spot because it has that thin nose. Uh, the icons are not relatively that thin. Like I said, the area gets really wide down in here. It's get a wide berth. Uh, when we come to an actual pair of needle nose that I absolutely love, and that is the LN47 ACF, which I'm going to demonstrate the deflection on this one, which is absolutely 100% stouter than all of the rest. And plus you get this three position. Now, these are about $60 for these pliers, but I'll tell you what, if I was going to put my money down on having to have a pair of pliers that was going to be, and they just came out with the 47 uh, ACFs, or 46 ACFs now, this is an absolute amazing plier for the money, in my opinion. These are the best needle nose on the market. You can do absolutely everything with these cutters. They got nut, they got the wide, the width on them so they can adjust out, and you get that parallel strength on these to really cut down. Uh, Taiwan is inherently uh, noted for doing stuff like this. You see these are some dynamic ones, but they beef up the nose of them to get that deflection. Because once you get to this point, they are pretty stout. So this makes this a pretty stout plier. I mean, it's there's almost no movement on it. But, like I said, I digress once again. For the $20, is the Icon plier uh, worth the money? Uh, yeah, it's a nice plier. Um... I still have a hard time saying that my Sonotos are not a better plier. Uh, obviously, these are a little bit used up here. They don't have the talon grip in these like the uh, the Snap-on. 
Uh, the, the grip on these seem to be pretty. Let me see if I can get these get these things set up here. Set the grip on this. Uh, the grip on these seem to be pretty. They pretty be, seem to be pretty decent. I can't really. They they hold on pretty good. I'm trying pretty hard here, keeping a good hold on it with these other ones. The LNC at 47 ACFs really hold on. So the grip on these is actually pretty good. Uh, and we do have uh, very little uh, markings. Let me get that focused in here. Very little markings on here. The hardness of this is subject. Let's take a let's take a scratch down these and with just another pair of uh, hardened pliers. See if we can damage these with just the tips. And you can see leaves very little marking on these needle nose. Nonetheless, I just wish that these grips were a little bit softer. Honestly, for the twenty dollars, I think that would really make it uh, a little bit better pair of pliers. But I I don't agree with the why can't I can icon make their own identity? Make a pliers that they're that the people that like icon tools or use icon tools can identify uh, and have their own. I mean, they could have easily went with a blue color, uh, made a different grip style. I mean, have some ingenuity. Take some pride in your tools and and stop taking the easy way out. We are in a society where ripping off people is somehow become okay. And why, by ripping off people, I mean. By repopping their stuff. Oh, uh, you know, I mean, like, it's it's become the the re, the re, re, rebrand society. Like, you know, well, hey, we'll just do the same thing and we'll just put our name on it. You know, and in some cases that's okay. In others, I don't know. But anyways, guys, that's the Icon Plier video. Hopefully I redeemed some uh, some of you guys. And if I didn't, oh, well. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to apologize to anybody. Uh, I gave a fair review. Uh, do I hate Harbor Freight? Yes. Do I do I hate the tools? No, because the tools are coming out of the the manufacturers facilities in Taiwan with some of the other tool companies that I agree with. So I'm not hating the tools. I don't agree with the company. The company is making money hand over fist, and yet they're not trying. They're not trying to make. Uh, they they can have their own manufacturing facility here in the United States. They can be building their own cheaper line of tools. There's a lot of things they could be doing. Why is Stanley doing that? Uh, they're building cra they build a Craftsman plant and, and just think to yourself, you know, why don't we have a brand? If you got if Harbor Freight's such a brand that's getting going forward, then why aren't they making moves on their own instead of just copying off everybody else? Because they're lazy. That's the way I look at it. Anyways, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember. Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.